Oh, oh hi guys. So the purpose of us filming on YouTube is to show you guys what's going on behind the scenes and what our day-to-day -day life consists of and how we actually do what we're doing. Um, as you know, some people think we just have a three minute clip and it gets thrown out and uh, is dumb and we spend the rest of the day sitting uh, on our asses doing nothing. So I thought I'd show you what we're actually doing. So for instance, this video we're shooting here, it's, uh, you know, I've had to get permission off the landowner, the farmer, um, we've had to buy the car, uh, which by the way, uh, the money that we uh, gave to the farmer, he's donating it to the uh, air ambulance. So thank you very much, Mark, for doing that. We could be talking up to sort of six, seven hours per video, including all of the ideas and putting it together. It's not something that's just, oh no, we're gonna just quickly go and do this and throw it all together. There's, there's plans and thoughts behind some of the sketches that we do. So some of the videos we do, they are spontaneous. Um, you know, it does does cut time down on, on the uh, full process for the ideas. And you know, I could call Joe up very late at night and go, quickly mate, I've had an idea, I'm about to film it, and he'll be running down with the camera, um, getting ready for the real prank or a prank that other people don't know about that's not a sketch um, or a stitch. So you, you, we, we have all that to contend with. I think as well, what a lot of people don't realize, I've been doing this for nearly three years. So I've, I've been doing it properly and, and, and sold my business uh, nearly two years ago. We, we earn money through the views on the Facebook videos and you know, it is a proper business. We've got a lot of people working for us and around us. It's not just what you see in front of the camera. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Um, we have um, the, the management side. We've got um, people on uh, looking after the socials, making sure that messages now get read as there are so many that come through every day. Um, we've got out, outreach for um, some of the companies that we do um, work for. I say work for, they might offer us to come down and try their facilities. So we don't charge for that, but it gives us a place to go and film a video. They get publishing for it and we take great pride in going and doing these and having fun, showing off what they've got to offer. So like on a, on a routine, on a, on a daily basis, so everyone will meet me at the CAF. Um, they'll be there about... Well, it depends what time they get up, but we're meant to be there at nine o'clock, but I'm there from seven. So run through some ideas, go through some emails, go through messages, um, and then I'll start writing down some of the ideas I would have had from the night before. So when Joseph gets in, we'll talk through, and then uh, we'll see which ones are viable and not viable. Um, Jack and Amy will normally arrive a little bit later on. Then we'll go through for some of our planned videos. We'll get them filmed. Then uh, about one o'clock, we'll, Joseph will go off and edit the video straight away because he's you know, a really good boy. He, you know, he likes to knuckle down, get the videos edited straight away. He won't sit there and twiddle his thumbs and watch YouTube for three or four hours and then come five or seven o'clock be editing. Go home, watch YouTube for two or three hours, then I'll edit in the last hour before it's due out at five. But uh, he doesn't need to know that. You know, we, we try to get 12 videos done a week. Sometimes there's more, um, and that, that's a lot of effort. When, when you think about it, just saying that average video, that's four hours worth of work per video, minimum. And you times that by 14, 15, you look, you're looking at sometimes 60 hours minimum a week. There's a lot that goes into it let alone all, all of the online replies, the outreach, um, making sure that we're checking messages, that there's not you know, some nasty messages out there for people to see or, or bullying going on on our platform. So th there's a hell of a lot to it. What do I actually do? I'm kind of the behind the scenes person. I speak to Nick, I speak to Jack, speak to Amy, help them plan out their pranks they want to do, film them with them. Most of the time, egg them on to make it worse than they originally were planning. Give them a couple of pointers in the right direction of what they can actually do to make it a little bit worse or a little bit more painful sometimes. Then after we've got all the footage filmed and stuff, I go home, back to my bedroom, and sit there and edit and post it to Facebook and make the final piece you I see. And we love you for it, Joseph. Mm. <laughs>
Well, some of the most difficult stuff that I do is it, looks, it probably looks quite easy from the outside, but sometimes when you get phone calls from Nick at nine o'clock at night going, I'm just about to put fake tan in Jesse's like shampoo. And you all of a sudden just got to drop what you're doing and grab the, sprint around there with the camera and sneak upstairs and film that. That's not always the most fun. And then also Jack's, Jack's got a brilliant mind, lovely imagination, brilliant for the kind of thing we're doing, all the pranks and ideas and stuff like that. But he just, he's not very good with his words. So you've got to sometimes put the words in his mouth, so to speak. So tell him how to articulate what he what actually wants to say. Because sometimes he'll look at you and just go like, super glue, and you're like, no, you need to say, I'm going to put super glue in Jesse's hair. Rather than actually like being just super glue hair. He's a bit like a like, caveman, that's it. <laughs> bit of a caveman. But yeah, so a lot of it's just routine. We meet the calf, we then like kind of split off and go get stuff that we need for prank videos or whatever. Try and figure out what we actually want to do with the day. Normally film and then kind of depart ways. Then I go home and I start what I'm employed to do and do all the editing and stuff like that. <laughs> to be honest, Come on. I go <laughs> go home, watch YouTube for two or three hours, then I edit in the last hour before it's due out at five. But uh, Nick doesn't need to know that. We have to do quite a few retakes. Loads of bloody retakes. And Maybe then... you're not in the right setting. And to if it goes wrong the first time, you have to redo it. And if you redo it the second time, it's never as good as your first time yeah. reaction. So say if I was going to get egged, and then like we miss the eggs, and like <laughs> no one hits me, you have to do it again. But then I expect it's coming, so then it's just not as good. I think it's hard as well when it's in public. Yeah, when it's in public. Because you can't really react the same way you would when it's in private because you can't shut your mouth off. Because when I had the massive dildo strapped to my hand, yeah. everyone was looking at me like I was some, some sort of wrong yeah, yeah, so every morning we have to wake up at... Seven to eight, yeah. Seven, between seven, we have to be at the calf normally at half eight, but obviously me and Amy always get there a bit later because we like to push our lanes. Yeah. I'll, leave, I'll wake up about ten to eight, leave at eight, <laughs> pick Amy up, and then we'll drive to um, the calf. I think everyone perceives it as a really easy thing to do. Like when, it, when everyone asks, like, what do you do? They just think you've got it easy, but really, it's, it's just like a normal job. You still have to work normal job hours, like yeah. sometimes me and Amy. Will... And it is stressful. Like Very some, stressful. Coming up with ideas to do. And then you actually got to do it. Like sometimes it'll be really cold and you've got to jump in this stupid lake. Yeah. And it's ice cold. So guys, that's it for the video. If you guys have any questions that you want the answers to, feel free to leave a comment. I want to thank everyone for watching. So once you get to know us all properly on YouTube, we will be using our videos as a daily sort of vlog built up for the week where we plan to have our vlogs put out once or twice a week so you can see what we get up to when we're doing the house.